All right, what's up, everybody? Um, it's me, Terrell, back again for another trailer breakdown, and this time it's for WandaVision, the official trailer number two. Number two, baby. Do um, now. I wasn't able to break down the first trailer back um, a while back, but thankfully I'm able to break down this one. And um, I'm just really excited for the show. It's been postponed for so long because of the pandemic, but luckily we have a date, January 15th. Yes, that is when we shall see Wanda and Vision grace our television or our phones and computer screens uh, once again. Now, I don't know if it's going to be set in this reality or in their own reality. Um, side note, I really love how... Um, how the character of Wanda is someone who's suffering from mental illness or mental illnesses, um, but also has this amazing like range of power. Um, and I love how in the comics they already talk about both. And hopefully in the show they'll touch on her mental illness and also and, and touch on how uh, her trauma that she's, she's that she has experienced, you know, the loss of her brother, her family, and what Thanos did to her and whatnot. Um, how all that affects her mental health and how. Her mental health is probably the cause of everything that's been, that, that we're going to see that's going to be taking place. Um, she'll probably crack open the multiverse and mesh a couple of realities together. And I'm all here for it. I am so here for it. So let's get into this breakdown, okay? We all love trailer number two, so let's just let's talk about it. Um, thank you for joining me, too. I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, and three, two, one. Okay, now right here we see the Pleasantville kind of style that they've been going with. Um, just like from the first trailer, you know, they're doing a whole comedic take on all the Nick at Night shows from back in the day. And the TV Land shows. I used to watch a lot of those shows um, over and over and over again at nighttime. And during the day when I got home from school, I'd watch Batman, Superman cartoons, Power Rangers, X-Men, all that stuff. So I was a kid during the day and I, and I was pretty much an old person at nighttime. Um, so I'm familiar with all of this and the characters and the actors from back in the day too uh, so I love how look at that like Wanda looks really amazing here this she has this whole Mary Tyler Moore slash June Lockhart thing going on in June Lockhart she was the mom from Lassie for those of you who don't know and Lost in Space too the original Lost in Space look at Catherine Hahn just <laughs> look at Wanda I mean I know she's married to Vision, but she is a Vision. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, true story, quick tr quick true story. Um, I went to the Hollywood premiere of Godzilla back in 2014, May of 2014, and um, Wanda and Pietro, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen, they starred as husband and wife in that film. And funnily enough, the very next year they started as, as the twins in Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, but um, when Wanda or when Elizabeth is going up, when she's being ushered ushered along the red carpet, I was able to shout, Elizabeth, I can't wait to see you in the Avengers. Um, next year, she leaned over back over her shoulder and said, thank you so much. Thank you. And I was like, oh, my God, my life was just handed to me. <laughs> she's really, really sweet. You can definitely tell. Um, um, just 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 beautiful. A vision. Marvel Studios. Now this almost kind of looks like the Truman Show as well, like they're being observed by the government. Look at that. Now back in the day and on all the TV land shows that I used to watch, like I Love Lucy and whatnot, the, the husband and wife, they were in two separate beds because on TV you couldn't show a married couple in the same bed. You know, you couldn't insinuate sex or that the fact that they had sex, but you'd see them have a junior, you know, nine months later. So it's like, how did they create the junior if they didn't share the same bed? But it was, TV was very conservative way back in the day, but thankfully that's all changed. <laughs> Look at that, she even made the sheets come together. Just beautiful. Her reality warping powers are really going to shine in this in this series, and I can't wait. I'm so here for it. Look at that, January 15th, baby. Oh, look at right there. They're expecting. Oh, I'm so ready for Wiccan and Speed to arrive in the MCU to join Kate Bishop and um, uh, what's her name, Cassie Lang, and all the young Avenger, all the, the young Avengers. I can't wait. But I wonder if Mephisto is going to be the real father, since you know Vision can't really father any children. Um, so we'll see how this all plays out. But I'm, I'm excited for it. Catherine Hahn is just she's she's a gas. <laughs> wow, look at Tiana. 
I forget her last name. It might be Paige, but Tiana is just like gorgeous. Hopefully in the show and going forward in the MCU, they allow Tiana, who plays Monica Rambeau, a grown up Monica Rambeau from the Captain Marvel film. Um, hopefully they, they let Monica keep the Afro look. She might need to change the 70s style dress or attire that she has on, but hopefully they allowed her to keep her, her Afro because I think a lot of young women, um, especially women of color, um, they would love to have somebody and they need to have somebody to to look up to another woman of color that's you that's wearing her natural hair in a really beautiful way as well um, because in society for too many years um, even to this day a lot um, you know afros are looked at as not being professional or as or beautiful or as beautiful as like straight like white women's hair or Spanish women's hair like curly and wavy the afro is just looked at as being like ghetto or unkept or unkempt um, you know what I mean and so to have her Tiana looking so gorgeous like that and so so comics accurate looking just like Monica Rambeau like Kevin Feige has to has to have her stay just like that she has to keep the afro and the hula hoop, hula hoop earrings too like those are just such a nice touch um she just she screams Monica Rambeau and I can't wait can't wait to see her shine and see what kind of power she'll get and see if she'll actually name herself Photon like her mother's call sign was in the Air Force she's like I don't know who I am I don't know who I am either <laughs> Look at everything changing. Wanda's like, what's going on? Vision's like, I think you're mentally ill. And someone that's from the government is like, it's like, Wanda, can you hear me? Can you hear me? You have to wake up or something like that. <laughs> and Wanda's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm in color sometimes and then I'm in black and white. Other times my hair always looks really, really good. Really, really, really does. My hair is so laid. Yes. Ah. Look at that. Somebody from the government. Now that's what Black Mask um, and, and Birds of Prey should have looked like. Um, wow. Can't wait to see her reality warping powers and just see her crack open the multiverse. Look at that. Watch. Watch how she... Watch out, look at look how she flies. She looks so majestic. Just so graceful and beautiful. I love that. Just love that. She just... She just looks so heroic. Now this part right here, it looks like a force field projected by her red kind of smoky powers. So, but I don't know if she's trying to keep the military in or keep herself in or keep them away from her. Um, I can't wait to find out, but it looks really, really cool. There's Vision and Kat Dennings and the Mind Stone and yay! I don't know what's going on right here, but I'm here for it. Um, this is this probably this is probably a dream or of some sort. Um, but the visuals are just stunning, just really, really stunning. Uh, look at them they're like we're trapped in some world we don't know if it's real or not but at least we're together <laughs> they didn't say that but that's what it looks like oh I can't wait January 15th baby god this is just gonna be so different Marvel needs something fresh like this too just to kind of change things up um, I, but I love how a lot of their shows and movies have different tones but when the characters cross over Everything just blends so well together, thanks to Kevin Feige. Um, he's like the glue that keeps everything together, and everything uh, he makes everything feel like it's like everyone's a part of one large universe. Um, yet everyone is still they still have their own kind of style and tone as well. It's amazing. So thanks for going over this breakdown with me of Wandavision trailer number two. Uh, share your thoughts down below. You already know my thoughts. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for January 15th, and I'll be breaking down every single episode. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to. Um, so, again, share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, too, and ring that bell so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Always remember to fly high and fly free. Be you, because everyone else is taken. Okay? So, now with that said, you can check out another video from me right now. And zoom, zap, bam!